So I'm Tunda Petu, I'm Professor of Clinical Ophthalmology at Queen's University, Belfast. Today we discuss the um, issues around diabetic retinal display screening. We know from lots of studies that if there is severe disease or significant disease in this 20%, we do know that usually the further out you go, the more severe the disease it gets. One in nine patients have more severe disease on the periphery than what we, we have appreciated. They might have had what we call now pre predominantly peripheral lesions. So I believe that either examining or photographing the periphery is important. These cameras are currently much more expensive than the central, the cameras that can take pictures of the center of the eye. So they might not be feasible to be incorporated into the normal screening process. But for those patients who, go in through, who are going through digital surveillance pathway, uh, clinical hospitalized services or even sitlam pathway, it might be a, a good investment over time. You can see some white dots on the top, that's um, some laser. And the patient is very symptomatic with some floaters, yeah? Well, yes, the patient did have some laser quite a lot of laser, that's all laser way out to the periphery, beautifully done. But there's still some new vessels in the top left, left corner that, below that lens artifact. And then if you, and this is, so Optus uses two lasers, a, red, a green and a red. And then you put, it, put the patient on the Iden, Confoco white light. Again, very different looking retina. You see all the lasers, you don't, it, the laser spots, you don't see the very far periphery, but you see the new vessels beautifully both there, one there with you know, partly fibrosed and a couple of smaller ones if you come close. So the different cameras give you different images. Diabetic eye care can be quite fragmented and so it's very important that those of us who do it, we are able to identify several of the components as to the pa why, why the patient might have visual loss or just visual symptoms. And make sure that we always look at the cornea, we always look at the iris, you look at the lens and you look at every part of the eye, even if you're not a specialist in those areas. A reasonably small amount of corneal damage and cataract and a non-dilating pupil can make the patient very uncomfortable so we need to listen to the patient, we need to make sure that we, we do a very, very thorough examination of the whole of the eye. And if, if you're not comfortable doing it, then you know, get help and get someone else to do it for you. The most important thing in diabetes care is that nobody can do it alone. It's, we pass the point where you can be a, an eye specialist who can do every part of, core, of diabetic eye care. So it's just important that, that we, we, we see it as a multidisciplinary disease and multidisciplinary aspects of it need to, be, need to be taken seriously and just talk to your colleagues and make sure that, that you, everyone knows what they're doing and what they're responsible for.